Thank you, Mr. Navis, for your time. Can you introduce yourself and tell us your view about the trial inside? Yeah, my name is Fidel Narvaez, and I, I am the ex-consul of Ecuador in London. And today has been the third day of the extradition hearings. Um, and this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning of what is going to be a very, very first uh, battle for Julian's destiny and for Julian's life, literally. Um, there are many issues that uh, they need to be discussed at the court. And today they were discussing the extradition legislation, which uh, should apply for Julian's case. And there is a big contradiction between the extradition treaty be between the US and UK and apparently the domestic law in the UK. Uh, we know and everybody uh, accepts that there's a very, very imbalanced extradition treaty between the US and the UK in favor of the US. But nevertheless, the extradition treaty uh, establishes that political crimes, so-called, are not subject of extradition. That will, uh, that should protect Julian Assange for extradition because he is being accused of espionage and espionage amounts to a political crime. However, the prosecutors are arguing that such a treaty has not been incorporated yet into the UK domestic law. And the UK domestic law does not protect extradition from political crimes. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, all day the the discussion was about that, the defense and the prosecutors arguing, trying to persuade the judge who has the law on the side. Uh, in any case, um, there are many many other issues that have to be discussed. My impression is that the prosecutors, they do not have anything new. Mm -hmm. It's the same old, 10-year-old allegations of supposed risk to informants of the American uh, army, which hasn't been proved. There's no evidence of anybody being harmed as a result of WikiLeaks publications. So, if justice prevails, Julian Assange should not be extradited, just because there is no grounds mm. in, the, in, the, in the prosecution arguments. But more than that, he won't have a fair trial in the US, and he he will be subject to inhuman conditions. So there are many, many reasons why he should not be extradited and we have to hope, but we have to fight everyone from each corner in order to stop that, that, that extradition. Mm -hmm. We heard today that um, Julian Assange wanted to talk to his legal team and that it has been denied, um, that they told him to talk open in front of everyone. What happens the next? Is it true? And if yes, what happens next? Mm, well, he's complaining of difficulties regarding his communication with his legal team because uh, as the court is set up right now he remains in a box behind uh, 
uh, it's very gross glass which makes him it make, makes he makes it difficult for him to interact as he should mm. with his lawyers in order to instruct them in order to to fit the defense with his opinions and uh, the request is that he's not in the in, in that box anymore but he should be sitting next to his lawyers of that's course. something that's possible but somehow um, is to be decided is to be decided tomorrow by the by the judge we mm. don't know what which is going to decide thank you very much for your time yeah thank you